Welcome back to Keep On Growing and this is the third part of the continuous harvest system. Now if you haven't watched the first two videos, check them out. They're in this playlist. I'll leave a link down below. The first one has to do with the cracky growing system and that's hydroponics and it's growing with no soil, no pumps, no aeration. And the second one is growing tomatoes and peppers in hydroponic off-grid towers. Now I started with the tomatoes and the peppers because lots of people ask for it. They're always asking me how to grow tomatoes, among other things. But today I'm going to show you how I grow in a continuous manner, and that's why I call it the continuous harvest system. Now it doesn't include tomatoes. Pretty much it's your leafy greens and herbs. Now some people might not be turned on to that, but once you do this and you have leafy greens coming one after the other, in a continuous harvest you're gonna love it now the reason why tomatoes and other things don't fit into this category is because basically they're a plant you grow it it takes a lot longer than the leafy greens you wait for it to blossom fruit and then once you harvest that fruit the plants are pretty much done and you have to start over now these things take so long and they're a little bit temperamental that once they're done they're done for the season and then you have to start over again and in the time that it takes me to grow a tomato plant and get it to harvest, I can grow several crops of these baby greens. Now, most of your leafy greens you can eat as a microgreen or sprout. Other things like tomatoes and potatoes, you can't do that. So I always have microgreens sitting around. So once we grow some microgreens to either the baby stage or we let them get a little bigger to the mature stage, once we harvest or something goes wrong with one and we have to redo it we've always got some plants to go in immediately and once we do that within a few weeks we've got baby greens again and we let it go and we've got mature greens and this goes on in a continuous manner all year long here in Florida and I know a lot of you live in other states or around the world where you can't do that outdoors but most people can do it indoors and if you learn how to do the system like that and you do it over and over, you're gonna really love having these greens around all the time. It's like having a literal salad bar at your disposal whenever you want it. Now one thing with these leafy greens and them being fast growing, fast maturing, you grow them really quick. There's not that much of a chance of you getting too much problems as far as pest or disease go. And then if you do, you've always got some microgreens growing to replace them. If you do, you, you pull those out of your whole crop. You know, that's why we grow in smaller containers is that we can isolate ones that have the problem, immediately remove that one, change it out, put your microgreens in, and you're only a couple weeks behind on that one and you've got all these other containers still growing your other crop. It's kind of hard to do that in a traditional garden. Now, if you're growing tomatoes, you have them growing, all of a sudden you get blight or something that's like spreading throughout your tomatoes or you get the mealy bugs and uh, hornworms and just any number of things and all of a sudden like your crops done you probably don't have a bunch of tomato plants sitting around to take its place so when tragedy strikes it's over for the season and you just think I'll try again in the fall or I'll try again next spring with the leafy greens you get a little problem you can take everything apart, harvest them down, rinse out your containers, and if you've got your microgreens growing, you can plant them immediately. And if you don't have microgreens growing, you can get some started seven to 10 days and then they can go into downspouts and you can start over again. So this is the part I like the most. You always feel like you're having some kind of success. Even when something goes wrong, it doesn't go wrong with everything. And the small part that goes wrong, you take that out, you switch it out, and it starts growing again. And at the same time, you're harvesting something somewhere else, and you're harvesting this and harvesting that. You're, you're just constantly getting whatever you need whenever you go to cook or make a sandwich or make a salad or anything. You walk outdoors, grab a handful of whatever you want. Just having all of this at your disposal like that gives you this overwhelming sense of self-sufficiency and you're doing a little bit you know to take care of yourself that you're not depending on someone else for everything that you're you're eating and when you get into growing all your other crops you can do it and it's possible and that's why I did the tomatoes and I put that video up to show people it is possible 
but there's a lot more things that can go wrong. It takes a lot more care, and you're not going to do it over and over and over again like you do with these greens. All those things are possible, but I know that if I show all of that, that's the first thing everyone's going to try. Because I get beginners who've never heard of hydroponics before will see my videos, and the first thing they ask is about tomatoes and cantaloupe and watermelon and cucumbers and eggplant and on and on and on. And when I say, well, try leafy greens, they're like, I don't really like greens. So your greens are not only there because they're healthy for you, they're easy to grow, they help on your food bill, but they also give you that learning experience that you're going to transfer into all of these other crops. And while you're learning, you're not spending a lot of money because you're spending pennies worth of seeds. If you get microgreen seeds, that's why we use microgreens is because it's cheaper. If you're going out and just grabbing a bunch of seed packets from the store and trying it that way, it's going to get a little expensive. But if you do it with microgreens like we do, then you're only using pennies worth of seed for your learning experience. So when you try and you go through your tribulations and your little trial and error and things don't work out right, you didn't spend a whole lot of money or you didn't spend a whole lot of time growing something and then something went wrong and then all of a sudden you're discouraged and you, you don't want to try anymore. When you're just spending a couple of pennies on some seed and a little bit on some nutrients and you just grow something and you, you're growing all this stuff, and I guarantee you can have a lot of success. But if something goes wrong with a couple, you're like, I, that only took me a couple of weeks and I've got microgreens right here. I'll just pop them back in and get started again. It's easier to get back up once you fall that way, right? But if you spend a lot of time, money, energy, blood, sweat, and tears and put it into something and it fails, you're not really likely to do it again. So that's why I like this. I know that all of you out there, if you try this, it'll work for you. I know it'll help you with your grocery bill. I know it'll make you feel better about providing for your family. So give this a try. It's called a continuous harvest system. And now you know why I'm so passionate about it. So when we talk about our mission, when we talk about teaching the world to feed itself, it's going to be tough to teach everybody to grow a tomato. We're all in different environments. There's different, a lot of different factors that go into it, and it's very tough. But growing a green, pretty much we can teach everyone that. So that's what we're going to do. That's where we start. That's our training wheels. And all of you out there who are sharing this and are in on that mission, thank you very much. We've got much more coming. We're going to change it up a little bit. You guys are going to have a whole lot of fun in the time to come. Lift and inspire. Keep on growing. Be the change. Much love. We'll catch you later.